Hey guys, this is another video tutorial of Windows System Programming. In this tutorial, I am going to show you about the interlock functions in Windows. So basically here, interlock functions synchronize access to a variable that is shared by the multiple thread. I have taken this definition from the MSDN. Basically, the all the operation perform in atomic way or single clock. In Linux, call to the atomic variable. API changes according to system configuration. I'll tell you later. This is a this is a method used to safely update and or fetch data shared between task thread and interrupt routines and between processors on multiprocessor systems. So basically atomic variable are the ones on whom the read write operation is done as one instruction without any interruption. So here suppose your system is 32 bit then interlock increment there is a one API which provided by the MSDN and if you, your system is 64 bit then you have to use interlock decrement 64. For more information you can check this link and uh, check the description box I have already provided the link. Here are the some common API interlock increment interlock increment here uh, two times I have written actually 64 and then uh, decrement interlock exchange exchange we can exchange the pointer also we can exchange add exchange add means it exchange the value and add the variable in atomic way so like bitwise we can perform interlock and or and jar operations decrement acquire decrement release this can be used in the if we are using the shared variable there we can use so here there are various functions uh, like uh, so many functions are there here interlock functions interlock add interlock add acquire interlock add release so there are so many functions you can uh, go through that check this uh, link in description box below and uh, there is a one function I am going to take one example here interlock add function so perform an atomic addition operation on the specified long value the syntax of that uh, function is like uh, long return type is long interlock add and this one is the volatile add end which replace the result of the operation and long value so the return value of this function is the result the operation means after addition whatever the value comes it will return that value in similar way there are one interlock increment function so increment yeah, increase by one the value of the specified 32 bit variable as an atomic operation to operate on 64 bit we have to use interlock increment 64 functions and the same things we have to provide so let's quickly check about the program so here first I'm going to use the interlock add so first we have to use the volatile add and type so here I am using long 64 volatile long and variable name is A so here I am writing let's say 5 and I am taking another variable for storing the value same let's say B now I'm writing here B equal to uh, interlock add 64 and then here we have to pass the A and addition of value is 5 so here I'm just printing out that value addition and then equals then our value variable name b end of this line so just build the code once So build has been already started and success. So check the debug option. 
so now the here the addition is 10 so I'll show you the bigger format yeah if you see here addition is uh, equal to 10 so now check for the another so I'm writing here volatile long 64 it's totally depend on your system so let's say I'm assuming here 10 and one volatile variable for storing our value so x equal to interlocked increment we are 64 bit here we have to pass x single operation and check the increment and our value end of this line so just quickly rebuild the code so rebuild all failed so variable uninitialized so here I am looking here for initializing sorry here I have done mistake so okay no need to write this thing so quickly rebuild rebuild succeeded and check for that so here the addition is 10 and after an increment the value is 10 11 so it's all operation performed in atomic way so we can uh, I can check uh, this all these things some of the things will not work in uh, suppose I have tested for the this interlock add in Visual Studio 2012 so it is not there so I move to the Visual Studio 2013 it is already there if something is not working then you have to switch for the higher version of uh, Visual Studio so that was the basic uh, program of uh, interlock functions how to use in Windows thanks for watching this video do hit comment share and subscribe this channel